Good morning. Happy Friday, everybody. We've made it through the week. Thank goodness. All right. How is everybody today? It's another gloomy morning, but you know what? I'm hoping that the sun breaks through at some point. Uh, for those of you who are new, my name is Madison. I am the occupational therapist of Elite Therapy Solutions. I currently work at the Westchester Clinic as well as the Coatesville Clinic. And we also do home visits. So if you have any PT or OT needs, feel free to give us a call and we can schedule an appointment for you. Um, but yeah, welcome, Friday morning workout. So today is gonna be balance and core day. Um, I recommend that if you want a little more of a challenge with these seated exercises to just grab a light weight, um, nothing too heavy. I'm only using two pounds today, just something light um, and we're gonna get started here and do our warm-up so thank you for joining me on this friday morning it's lovely to see some familiar faces back um all right so as with any exercise program if at any point during your workout you begin to feel faint dizzy or have any physical discomfort please stop immediately and consult with a medical professional all right friday morning core workout we're going to start with uh some warm-up exercises get that body moving these lights all morning have just been going on and off, so I apologize. I'm gonna try and keep them on as best as I can, but sometimes they just have a mind of their own, so. All right, let's stretch out those arms. Reach that left arm across your body. Stretch out that left arm. I wanna put this disclaimer in here that if at any point, you know, during the repetitions, you can't get to however many we're doing. So if I say we're doing 10, you can only get to five or eight, that's perfectly fine. Do what you're comfortable with. Please don't overexert yourself. We want you to be comfortable doing these exercises. All right, there goes the lights. Switch arms, take that right arm, reach it across your body, stretch out that right arm. <laughs> these lights, man, they really just have a mind of their own. The whole uh, idea of them being automatic is great, except when you're trying to do a workout. All righty, let's take that left arm, reach above your head, stretch out that tricep muscle if you can. If you can't reach it above your head, reach it across, stretch it out this way. I know we just did a straight armed one, but get that tricep all stretched out. All right, gonna hold this for another three, two, one, we're gonna switch. Go to the right arm, stretch out that right tricep. Maybe if the lights come back on. There we go. Good. All right, let's put that left arm out in front of us like a stop sign. Pull those fingers back, you should feel a nice stretch in that forearm. Good. You guys should really feel that right in the forearm here. All right, we're gonna switch in three, two, one. Switch to that right hand, pull those right fingers back, give that right forearm a good stretch. I am playing music through a speaker. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it. I don't wanna turn it up too loud for fear that you guys won't be able to hear me. All right, we'll drop that arm in three, two, one. Let's do some wrist rolls. Roll those wrists around. Either direction is fine. Switch directions, go the opposite way. Of course, my music is now just commercials. We'll get it back up and running here shortly. All right, let's take that right ear, put it down towards that right shoulder, give that neck a good stretch. Good morning to those who are just joining. All right, you're gonna take that left ear, put that down towards your left shoulder, stretch out that neck. Good. All right, you're gonna raise that chin up towards the ceiling, stretch out that neck, open up that chest. Good. 
Good, bring that chin down towards your chest, roll those shoulders forward. Should feel a good stretch across the top of your back there. Good, we're gonna take that left leg, stick it out in front of you nice and straight, toes up towards the ceiling, reach down for those toes. Should feel a nice stretch in the back of your hamstrings, the back of your legs. Keep those toes up towards the ceiling, dig that heel into the ground. Good, we're gonna hold this for five, four, three, two, one, switch legs for me, stick that left leg out nice and straight, toes up towards the ceiling, reach down for those toes. Good, we're gonna hold this for five, four, three, two, one. Good, go ahead and sit up for me. Let's do some heel raises. Raise those heels towards the ceiling, keeping those toes on the ground. Just getting those ankles moving. Good. Let's do five more. Four, three, two, one. Good. Raise those toes up for me, kind of like you're tapping your feet. Just getting those ankles moving, that blood pumping. Good. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right, guys. We're going to get into our workout here. If you'd like to use a small weight, go ahead and pick those up. We're going to start with some trunk twists. So you're going to hold those weights out in front of you. Arms should be at about a 90 degree angle here. And we're going to turn towards the right. Come back to the middle, turn towards the left, come back to the middle. What's really important during this exercise is you keep that back straight, you keep that core nice and tight. Suck that belly button in towards your spine. I want that core nice and tight today. All right, guys, we're gonna go for 10 trunk twists. So it's 10 to the right, come back to middle, 10 to the left, come back to middle. All right, guys, here we go. We're turning towards the right first. Back to the middle, going to the left, back to middle, that's one. Keep that core tight. Two. Three. Four. Five, we're halfway there. At six, keep that core nice and tight. We're working those abdominals. That was seven. We're on number eight. Good. That's nine. One more to each side. Come back to the middle. Good. That's 10. Good job, guys. Go ahead and drop those weights for me. We're going to do some seated crunches. Remember, that right elbow meets that left knee in the middle, okay? We're crunching in our seats, so make sure you're meeting them halfway. We're gonna do 10 crunches. We're gonna do each side, so right elbow to left knee, left elbow to right knee is one. We're gonna go for 10. If you can only get to five or eight, that's quite all right. Do what you're comfortable with. All right, guys, seated crunches for 10. Here we go. That's one, keep that core tight. Two, three, four, five, six, keep it up, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Good job, guys. All right. If you want to pick up those weights again, go ahead. Otherwise, we're just going to do it without the weights. Sitting up nice and tall, shoulders are back, back is straight, feet are flat on the ground. We're going to do our side bends with our weights. 
So we're letting that weight drag us down to the side, we're coming back to center, come over to the other side, back to center, that's one. Excuse me, I've got the burps this morning. We're gonna go for 10. So here we go to the right side first. We're gonna go all the way down, feel that stretch in that side, come back to center, all the way down, back to center, that's one. Two, keep that core tight. That's three. That's four. Keep it up, guys. That's five. Core is nice and tight. Feet are flat on the ground. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine, one more. Slow and controlled. That's 10, good job guys. All right, we're gonna do our toe touches. We're gonna reach up nice and high. Come down, touch those toes. So I want you to stick that left leg out in front of you, nice and straight, okay? Kinda like we're doing our hamstring stretch. These are similar to our high lows but we're touching those toes. We're coming down, touching those toes. So we're gonna do the right side first, right hand to left toe. If you can't stretch that leg out, keep it bent. We're just doing our high lows all the way down to the ground then, okay? If you can't get down to the toes, let's get it to the knees at least. All right, we're going for 10. Left leg is out straight, right hand starts up. Here we go. That's one. Two, three, four, keep that tummy tight. Five, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten. Good job. Put that left leg back, stick that right leg out nice and straight. Left hand starts up, comes down and across to those right toes. We're going for 10, here we go. That's one, two, three, four, five, we're halfway there, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Good job, guys. All right, these are gonna be new for us. These are arm clock swings. So we're gonna start with our right arm out. If you're in a chair with arms, please be careful when doing this because you don't wanna hit the arm. We're swinging that arm back, coming back forward. That is one. So instead of doing a full round, we're only going halfway, coming back to here. All right, we're gonna do 10 on the right and then we'll do 10 on the left. Here we go, guys. All the way back, all the way forward. That's one, two, keep that core tight, three, four, five, Keep it up. Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, 10. Good job, switch arms. We're going to the left arm. That arm swings back, comes back forward. All right, guys, let's go for 10, here we go. That's one. Two, three, four, good, five, six, seven, 
Eight, two more. Nine, last one. 10, good job guys. All right, we are gonna do another new one. This is called the cow and cat. You've heard of these before, these are yoga poses. And typically you would be on all fours, hands and knees, but we're gonna do it in the chair instead. So the cow and the, and the cat. So we're gonna arch our back, stick those shoulder blades together, then round those shoulders forward, tuck that head down. Come back into that arch, and then come back forward, okay? This is a lot of shoulder and core movement, so you wanna make sure you're really rounding that back when you can, arching it when you open up, okay? So one arch, one roll forward, that'll be one. We're gonna go for 10. All right, here we go, we're gonna start with Arching that back, roll those shoulders back, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Come forward, round those shoulders, tuck that chin. That's one. Arch that back, roll those shoulders back, squeeze those shoulder blades. Roll them forward, tuck, tuck that chin. That's two. Three, squeeze that core. Four, five, halfway there. Six, this is a nice slow controlled movement. Seven, three more. Eight, Nine, one more, arch that back, squeeze those shoulder blades. Come forward and round those shoulders out. That was 10, good job guys. All right, the last one, I'm sure you guys have heard of the nursery rhyme or I don't even know if it's a nursery rhyme, the head, shoulders, knees, and toes. So we're gonna do the same thing. If you'd like to use a weight, you can. Please don't hit yourself with the weight though. Um, I recommend using a lightweight because it's going to be heavy after a while because we're going to do 10 of them. So we're bringing those weights if you're using a weight. If you're not, don't worry about it. You're gonna start at the head, come down to the shoulders, knees, and toes. Then we come back to start, head, shoulders, knees, toes. Keeping that core tight, keeping that back straight when we're sitting up, when we bend forward, we're bending at the hips, okay? All right, we're gonna do 10 of these. Start with the weights up here. Head, shoulders, knees, toes. Come back up, head, shoulders, knees, toes. That's two. Good, that's three. Head, shoulders, knees, Toes, head, shoulders, knees, toes. That's four. We're moving on to five. Good. This is six. Head, shoulders, knees, toes. Keep that tummy tight. Head, shoulders, knees, toes. Good. That was seven. Head, shoulders, knees, Toes, that was eight. Got two more. Nine, last one. 10, good job guys. Take a break, get a sip of water. Oh, I'm hoping this fog clears out here soon. All right, guys, I'm going to give you another 30 seconds, and then we're going to start with our seated trunk twists. If you'd like to use a weight, go ahead and pick those up when you're ready. If you don't want to use a weight, you don't have to. Keep those arms up, though, when we're doing those trunk twists. Keeping that core tight, back is straight. We're just turning at that waist. Okay, your waist is here, your hips are here. All right, break is up in eight, seven, Six, five, four, 
three, two, one. All right, pick up those weights. We're gonna hold them at chest height. We're gonna do our seated trunk twist. We're going for 10. Here we go, over to the right first. Back to middle, left and back to middle. That's one, two, three, four, keep it up, five, keep that tummy tight, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Good job, guys. All right, drop those weights for me. We're moving on to our seated crunches. Remember that elbow meets that knee halfway. We're keeping that core nice and tight. Suck that belly button in towards that spine. All right, guys, we're gonna go for 10. Starting with the right elbow touching the left knee. Here we go. That's one, two, three, four, five, halfway there, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Good job, guys. All right, you can pick up those weights if you'd like to. You don't have to use them if you don't want to. All right, we're gonna do our side bends. Remember, we're letting that right arm kind of drag our body down. We're coming back to center, going on to the next side. When we come back to center, that's one. You've completed one full round. We're gonna go for 10, starting with the right. Here we go. Good, back to center. That's one. Keep that core nice and tight. Suck that belly button in. Two. Three, four, five, come all the way back to center, six, seven, eight, if you're keeping that tummy tucked in, you should be feeling it already. Nine, last one. 10, good job guys. You can go ahead and drop those weights if you'd like. We're gonna do our opposite toe touches. These are our high lows. Remember, if you can't stick that leg out straight, you can bring it in, it doesn't have to be straight. A little bit bent would be good. If you can't do it with that leg out, at least reach down to that knee. And if you can, reach down to those toes. Do as many as you can. We're gonna go for 10. Left leg is out straight, toes are up towards the ceiling. We're starting with that right hand up nice and high, coming down diagonal to touch those left toes. All right, let's go for 10. Here we go. That's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten. Good job. We're going to switch legs. Right leg comes out in front of us, nice and straight. Toes are up towards the ceiling. Left hand, nice and high. We're gonna reach down diagonal, touch those right toes with our left hand. We're going for 10. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Keep it up. 
six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, 10. Good job, guys. Shake that out a little bit. All right, we're gonna do our clock arm swings. Remember, we're only going halfway, back halfway, forward halfway, not a full circle. All right, we're gonna start with that right hand. We're gonna go for 10. Remember, you have to go back, come back to forward. That's one. All right, we're doing 10 on the right arm. Here we go. Reach back for it, come forward. That's one. Two. Three, four, five, keep it up, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Good job, guys. We're going to switch arms. Left arm comes out. We're going for ten more. Here we go. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, 10. Good job, guys. All right, we're going to go on to our cows and cats. Remember, we're arching that back, rolling those shoulders back to squeeze those shoulder blades together. Chin can come up. We're opening out that chest, squeezing the shoulder blades together, and then we roll those shoulders forward, arch that back, tuck that chin down. All right, we're going to go for 10 cows and cats. Here we go. That's one, two, squeeze that core, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, 10. Good job, guys. All right, we're gonna move on to our head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Remember with this one, you don't have to use a weight, just get those arms up, okay? If you want to use a weight, go ahead and pick those up. We're going to start at our head, kind of like, goes like Frankenstein a little bit. Go down to the shoulders, bring those elbows out into full extension to the knees, lower it down to the toes. Then we're going to start back at the head again. All right, guys, let's do 10 of these. Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, toes. Suck that core in. Shoulders, knees, toes, that's two. Head, shoulders, knees, toes, that's three. Oop, head, shoulders, knees, toes, good. That was three. Shoulders, knees, toes. That was four. Shoulders, knees, Toes, that was five, halfway there. Head, shoulders, knees, toes. That was six. Seven. Keep that core tight. Eight. Nine, last one. Head, shoulders, knees, Toes. Good job, guys. Take a break. Shake it out. Get a sip of water. 
and take a break for 30 seconds. It's very busy out here today. There's some construction on the road. People are coming to get their breakfast. People are moving around. And my lights have not gone off, knock on wood, which is good. All right, guys, another 10 seconds, and we're gonna start with our seated trunk twist, okay? Pick up those weights if you'd like, not necessary. Remember, we're only doing as many as we're comfortable with. Please don't overdo it. If you can only get to five or eight, that's perfectly fine. All right, guys, pick up those weights if you're gonna use weights. Otherwise, just bring your hands up to chest height. We're gonna rotate that trunk towards the right, come back to middle, rotate to the left, come back to middle. We're going for 10, here we go. That's one, squeeze that core. Two, three, four, keep it up, five, we're halfway there, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Good job guys, drop those weights. We're moving into our seated crunches. Left, or I'm sorry, right elbow touches left knee, meets in the middle. We're squeezing that core when we come in, okay? Keep that core nice and tight. All right guys, let's go for 10. You can only get to five or eight, that's perfectly fine. Here we go. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, 10. Good job, guys. All right, we're gonna do our opposite toe touches. Left leg comes out nice and straight if you can. If not, bring it in a little bit. If not, bring it all the way. You're gonna reach up nice and high with that right hand. Come diagonally down, touch those left toes. We're going for 10. Here we go. That's one. Two, squeeze that core. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, 10. Good job, switch legs, right leg comes out nice and straight, toes up towards the ceiling, left leg, left arm starts up nice and high. Reaching down and touching those toes. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job, guys. Keep it up. Eight. Nine and 10, good job guys. All right, we're gonna do our clock arm swings. Remember we're starting with that right hand out. Should be at about a 90 degree angle with your body. We're swinging it back, coming forward again. Let's go for 10 on the right arm. Here we go. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 
10. Good job, guys. We're switching over to the left arm. Comes out nice and straight. Swing it halfway back. Let's go for a 10. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. Last one. Ten. Good job, guys. Shake those arms out. We're going to go into our cows and cats. Remember, we're squeezing those shoulder blades as we roll those shoulders back. Chest should be nice and open. Pull that neck up if you can. And then you're going to roll those shoulders forward. Tuck that chin down towards your chest. Arch that back. All right. All right. Let's do our cows and cats. Here we go. That's one. Arch that back. Two. Three. Keep that core tight. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Good job, guys. All right, the last exercise in this set is our head, shoulders, knees, and toes. If you'd like to use a weight, go ahead and pick those up but it's not necessary. Remember the weights come up to our head, come down to our shoulders, extend those elbows all the way as you reach for those knees, bend at the waist, come down to your toes. We're gonna go for 10. Pick those weights up, starting at the head. Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, toes. That's one. Head, shoulders, knees, Toes, that's two. Head, shoulders, knees, toes. Squeeze that core. Shoulders, knees, toes. Head, shoulders, knees, toes. That's five. Head, shoulders, knees, toes. Good job. Head, Shoulders, knees, toes. That's seven. Head, shoulders, knees, toes. Good. That's nine. Last one. Ten. Good job, guys. Shake it out. Get a sip of water. We're going to do our cool down next. Take a nice break. How are you guys feeling? Is that core nice and tight? Do you feel like you got a good core workout? My core is burning. It's also very hard to talk and squeeze at the same time, so did what I could today. All right, let's take another 20 seconds. Get that heart rate down a little bit. All right. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Oh, there goes my legs. Bring that left arm across that body. Stretch out that left arm. We did some stuff with our arms, with our core, with our legs. But that's all important when it comes to balance and core, right? When we're balancing, we're using all of those muscles. Good. All right, we're gonna switch arms in three, two, one. Bring that right arm across that body. 
Give it a good stretch. Good. All right, let's hold it for another five, four, three, two, one. Take that left arm, bring that tricep up above the head if you can. Give it a good stretch. Good. You guys feeling it in the back of those arms? You should be. Hold this for another five, four, three, two, one. Switch arms, stretch out that right tricep. Good. Hold this for another five, four, three, two, one. Good. Shake those arms out. Oh. There's the lights. We're gonna do some wrist rolls, go in either direction, doesn't matter to me. We're gonna change directions in three, two, one, go the opposite way. Good. Ooh, my wrists are click clacking today. All right, take that right ear towards that right shoulder, stretch out that neck. Good. Hold this for another five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides, bring that left ear towards that left shoulder. Should feel a pull, there goes lights again, on that right neck. Good. All right, we're gonna do some neck rolls Roll that head in a circle nice and slow. Don't make yourself dizzy. I have a tendency to do increments of five, so I got one more to the right. And now we're gonna change directions. Go the opposite way. Don't make yourself dizzy. That's two, three, Four, last one, five. Good job. All right, let's do some shoulder rolls. Roll those shoulders back. We did a lot with our scapulas today. It's part of our shoulder to the back here. So we're stretching those out. Do three more. One, two, three. You're gonna roll those shoulders forward. Good, three more. One, two, three, that's good. Take that left arm, stick it out in front of you like a stop sign, pull those fingers back for me, give that forearm a nice stretch. Good. Hold this for another five, four, three, two, one. Switch hands, pull those right fingers back. Feel a good stretch in that right forearm. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and drop those arms, shake those out. Take that right leg, stick it out nice and straight in front of you. Lean forward and try and grab those toes. Toes should be up towards the ceiling. You're just stretching out those hamstrings. We did some of those high lows today. For those toe touches. Good stretch for those hamstrings. Hold this for another five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides for me. Stick that left leg out. Bring those toes up towards the ceiling. Reach forward. Stretch out those hamstrings. Good. Hold this for another five, Four, three, two, one, good. Do some heel raises for me. Raise those heels, keep those toes on the ground. Pumping some of that blood. Good. 
Good. Do three more. One, two, three. Bring those toes up. Do some toe raises. Good. Let's do three more. Three, two, one. Good job, guys. All right. That is going to end our Friday morning workout. Thank you so much for joining me this week, guys. I really appreciate it. It helps me out when you guys show up because I know that I'm reaching some people, which is very wonderful. So thank you for joining me. To develop an exercise plan customized for your specific needs, please call 610-594-2060 to consult with a licensed healthcare professional at Elite Therapy Solutions. Thanks again, guys. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you all on Monday. Bye.